General Dees, you've done a lot of hard things in your life. <laughs> uh, you've faced wars, you've faced political challenges, you know, in a, a heated political campaigns. You've dealt with uh, veterans committing suicide. A lot of hard things have happened mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. What's the hardest thing you've ever done? Yeah, well, a whole panoply of things comes across my uh, landscape right now. Um, I, the first thing that comes to mind is that he who is faithful in little will also be faithful in much. As a young officer, I had many challenges. My RTO drowned at my side, and uh, you know Jimmy Frizzell, just a, a wonderful soldier. I'll never forget that. Uh, or uh, pulling a soldier out of a burning helicopter, and then seeing a lot of other things uh, over time. Uh, or being uh, uh, having to evacuate a Korean town uh, because of a terrorist threat, and then the Korean Congress calls for my removal from the Korean Peninsula on that very day. You know, the very people you help are, are lashing out against you because they simply don't understand the, the need for the, the, the circumstance. Uh, but the thing is the last one you mentioned is uh, this notion of veteran suicide uh, and active duty suicide. I was, in 1973, I was a platoon leader, went into the 101st Airborne. I'd been through all Ranger Airborne, snake heat and stuff, and now I'm I've been there for three weeks and it's the night before Easter. And I get a call to go to Sergeant Smitty's house trailer. And not usually a good call. So uh -huh. I, I went and he had shot himself, killed himself in the back room. After the first responders left, his wife, uh, the widow, young widow, was there with her three-year-old daughter. And at least I said, uh, I knew how to ask, how can I help? And she said, well, we hid Easter eggs today. Uh, would you come back in the morning and gather Easter eggs with me and my young daughter oh. so that we can give her a normal Easter? And uh, that was a bookend in my military career. I went 31 years doing all these different things. I'm retiring, and at that time, the active duty military and the veteran suicide rates are higher than ever in recorded history. So over my 31, year, 31 years in uniform, the rates were higher. We had thrown millions and billions of dollars at it and uh, the problem had gotten worse. Something's not right here, we gotta try a different approach. That was the birth of the strategy for the National Center for Healthy Veterans that we're growing today uh, at uh, Near Liberty University. And the point is to break the back of veteran suicides and to return healthy veterans to America. I would offer that our veterans need America's help in various ways, but Absolutely. more importantly, America needs her veterans now, the role models, the entrepreneurs, the educators, the, the people that need to be leveraged into our economy. They're the greatest source of military talent and expertise that can be leveraged on behalf of our economy, on behalf of our society, uh, and, and we're not using them. We gotta do that. That's what. I'm called we owe to it do. to them and we need them. Exactly. You got it. And so I want to pull these two things together. Sure. Liberty University, that's where we've launched our uh, training for uh -huh. national security investment consultants. Right. Uh, my boss was a West Point grad and he was a phenomenal financial planner. So when he retired, he went into helping other people manage their money. Mm -hmm. If we're truly in an economic war, and mm -hmm. I am certain that we are, and right. if it's true that the small ships, the Dunkirk style right. small ships have to make a difference. What we do with our, our spending, mm -hmm. our giving, and our investing, weaponized money. You quoted scripture earlier, but here's mm -hmm. a quote. If you're not faithful with unrighteous mammon, who will ever trust you with the true riches? Uh, Luke 1611. Mm -hmm. So we try and train advisors to help people become faithful with unrighteous mammon, to mm -hmm. weaponize their money, to help save America, and to help the families. Right. Yeah. What if we find a way to partner? We, yeah. we work with your veterans, give them purpose mm -hmm. to help continue the fight. They've right. been in the military serving America, right. they continue the fight, they go to the next level, and, and they're helping people mm -hmm. take their money and use it in an investment way, as right. well as spending and giving, that'll help save America.